Yep, just filmed myself taking a selfie. That's embarrassing. Hi everyone, and welcome to Wednesdays with me, Amy. I've decided that at the end of every month, I'm going to put up a monthly favorites video, which is when I will just talk to you guys about things I have really enjoyed over the past month in the realm of well-being, um, self-care, all of that feel-good hippie bullshit that I just love. It's really just about kind of looking back at the month and thinking, wow, what really inspired me? What really got me thinking about something in a different way? What contributed to my overall well-being. When I describe it like that, it really doesn't sound that uh, compelling <laughs> to me even, so I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out, but let's just try it and see how it goes, shall we? I wrote everything down in this notebook, which actually could be a favorite. Should we do a spontaneous favorite right now? I wasn't even planning on talking about this. So yeah, I bought this journal when I was on a uh, vacation at the end of the summer. It says shine like a sunflower and it has gold detailing on it. This is like how um, beauty gurus talk about like tops from Zara, only I'm talking about my wellness journal. Actually, I visited this website because I think they have great products. It's papayaart.com. They have really cool, beautiful um, pieces like journals and office supplies and even like wallets and cool stuff like that. So I think it's nice to have nice things to look at and um, this is really easy to just like throw in my purse and I can take notes for myself if I want to and that kind of thing. So yeah, moving right along onto my favorite quote this month. <laughs> I'm gonna read it first and then talk about it. I actually Instagrammed it. This quote is by Paulo Coelho. Uh, no clue if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I love the way that sounds. Who wrote The Alchemist? If you're familiar with that book, that's a great read. Um, I would recommend to anyone as well. And this is the quote. When you repeat a mistake, it is not a mistake anymore. It is a decision. I love this quote because I've tried to talk about this in so many ways. I've talked about it in videos even before and this just so concisely articulates um, what I know to be true about how we evolve. On this grand journey called life, we all fuck up all the time, constantly, in a million different ways. And um, so often, if we don't look at the mistakes that we've made in a really kind of like open-hearted, curious way and ask ourselves, wow, what was I thinking? Why did I do that? Would I do it again? We really miss an opportunity for growth. And that means that there's a really good chance you'll just continue living your life and making that same exact mistake over again. And what Paulo Coelho is really saying is if you make a mistake and then you do the same thing again, you are choosing to participate in that same potentially harmful, unhelpful, unhappy behavior. And that's fine, you know? Like if you just want to make the same mistakes over and over again, you're totally entitled to do that. It isn't until you kind of examine your behavior and why you're doing what you're doing that you can begin to make a change. That's just how we grow and evolve. And I think that's brilliant and I love it. Moving right along, I would love to talk about a brilliant, amazing creator and coach who is also a friend of mine <laughs> who is very active on Instagram and produces unbelievable content. I'm really building this up. If I could put in a drum roll sound effect, I would. Mark Groves of Create the Love, that's at Create the Love, um, is just fucking so wise and lovely and really funny and smart and um, he posts a lot of stuff that's kind of similar to the sort of messages and ideas that I post around love and relationships. So if you like my stuff, there's a really good chance that you get a lot of his material. I think he's brilliant. I just want to like share everything that he comes up with because I'm like, yeah, you get this so much. And he's also just a great person and an unbelievable coach. So I'll put his website and his Instagram link down below. You should totally go check him out. Um, but Mark, I think you're A plus and, and keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Up next, I want to talk about a wellness habit. I have loads of different habits and routines that I established for myself that would fall under the umbrella of self-care. Um, and one that's been really helpful to me this month has been uh, what I call morning pages, or not what I call, I, I, I got that from, oh shit, I'm gonna forget her name, I should look it up. 
Morning Pages was something I learned from The Artist's Way, which is a really cool uh, program slash book for artists or anyone who kind of wants to enhance their creativity or connect with that part of themselves. I get up in the morning, before I even get out of bed, right next to my little sleepy station, I have my notebook, um, not this one, but another one, and I have a pen and I journal first thing in the morning. Sometimes I pee first, but mostly I just journal. You know, anywhere from like one to four pages, I would say, and it's really unfiltered, totally stream of consciousness, just my pen hits the paper and I just go, go, go. And it is so friggin' illuminating. Like I'm someone who I wake up in the morning and I immediately have like a lot of sort of like energy and even anxiety sometimes and just like nerves about the day ahead or thinking about something that happened yesterday. It's the kind of thing now where I set my alarm clock like 20 minutes earlier than when I have to get up just because I wanna get my writing done because it really just grounds me, makes me just like be present. Starting off the day with something like that I think is really powerful. So highly recommended, morning pages. I kind of wanted to incorporate a theme or idea into this monthly favorites thing because I noticed a recurring theme for me this month was the idea of enjoying the ride. <laughs> I've posted a lot of things on Instagram kind of about this and it's just been sort of bouncing around in my head. And I think in life it's so easy to get focused on the destination, like where we're heading, what we want, where we should be, um, all of this future oriented stuff. And enjoying the ride or just being present for the journey is really so valuable. It's also just such an easier, calmer headspace to be in if you're just kind of letting yourself be present with where you are at this point in your life with everything that's going on and you're not constantly focused on the future, what you want to have happen. I really make the effort every day to take small moments to just be in gratitude and be thankful for exactly where I am, even with all the question marks and annoying flare ups that happen because this is life and that's how life works. I think it's great to enjoy the ride. So that's been a really present theme for me. And um, I think it's just a good reminder. Chill the fuck out. Enjoy where you are. Smell the goddamn roses. So much profanity. And my last favorite this month is of, in the category of what I'm calling meaningless yet meaningful. I think we all have this idea when it comes to wellness or self-care that it always includes going to yoga class or meditating or writing in the morning for 20 minutes because that's me. But truthfully, the smallest, stupidest things can really contribute to your overall well-being. And for me this month, the meaningless yet meaningful thing for me has been Gilmore Girls. I have just been vegging out on the couch with some Netflix whenever I need a good wind down. And it's a really fun way to end my day and I look forward to it. And it's so great to give yourself the opportunity to just chill the fuck out and turn your brain off and enjoy some mindless entertainment. Nobody knows what you need better than you. And sometimes I need to just sit on the couch and watch Gilmore Girls. You have to give yourself permission to chill out and relax and just enjoy whatever it is you're doing even if it feels like silly or goofy or meaningless might be very meaningful. There you have it, that is October's monthly favorites. I hope it was thought provoking or interesting or maybe it gave you a little bit more insight into me as a person. Now I wanna know from you what contributed to your well-being this month. It could be anything, just something that you're grateful for, something that you did that was really positive. I wanna know, please comment below and um, definitely subscribe if you like this video or you like my other videos. Um, I wanna see you next week for Mantra Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, I'll see ya. <laughs>